Welcome back, everybody. Snow coming down heavy for some parts of the Copper Country. Here's a camera live. It's not a live camera. I took it about 15 minutes ago. The Lake Roland Shacky Cam. Thanks to Scott Hennessy. Look at that. You got the snow gauge right there. The ruler. How about we call it the ruler? It's getting up to that one foot mark. And I think Sasquatch is getting happy. And also Mr. Frost. Guess who else is happy? Me, because I miss winter weather. Now, if you're tracking on M26 towards Houghton, there could be some breaks from that snow thanks to our road crews plowing and treating the roads but Houghton and Hancock right now we've got some areas of poor visibility in addition to accumulating snow 24 degrees southwest winds 15 miles per hour they're gusting much higher than that how about 30 40 plus miles per hour can't roll that out tonight pressure at 29.83 inches on the barometer. So some of this snow falling below our radar detection beam, but the radar picking up what's going on across Barriga County and Northern Iron County and also over the East Central UP. This is lighter snow, lighter snow, making less of an impact, but will make an impact continued onward for areas of the Northwest. Winter storm warning for Northern Houghton County in the purple. You're looking at Ontonagon and Keweenaw counties under a winter weather advisory. All three alerts going through Thursday morning. A potential of moderate to heavy snow overnight through the morning hours and factoring that gusty wind condition will be leading to some poor visibility from those areas of blowing snow in addition to those slick spots. Take you to your future radar and winds. So gusts could exceed 30 miles per hour over in the northwestern UP. Moderate to heavy snow in those areas, but for central and eastern upper Michigan, it'll be light, occasional moderate snow. Where could it be moderate snow? Areas around Grand and Murray and Mel Strand over into Alger County East. But the moderate to heavy snow coming in scattered coverage across the Copper Country and the northern tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula through Thursday morning. And as we get into the afternoon hours, we'll start to see a gradual tapering of any snow for the northwestern UP. There's a chance for some of that to come on down to central and southern upper Michigan through Friday from a northwest wind, but drier air will rule out into Friday. We're going to get some sunshine ahead of the Easter weekend. Projected snow amounts. They can get to 12 inches or more for some areas along northern Houghton County. We're looking at 6 inches or more for some areas from the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park up to the northern portions of the Keweenaw Peninsula. 1 to 3 inches can't rule out over into areas of the eastern UP near Lake Superior. TV6 extended forecast. Drier outlook for Friday with some mild temperatures for early spring. But then we get to Saturday. There is some of that suspense coming along with a system that could bring snow and and mixed precipitation to the southern UP and then clearing out just in time for Easter Sunday. Oh, hoppity hoo for that. I like that. But what follows is what well, on April Fool's Day. I don't think that's uh, a fool's joke there with a no. storm to watch out for. At least the Easter Bunny has a little window, yeah. little window to hide the eggs. Absolutely. And, yeah. Good to know. Thank you. Got We're it. looking forward to it. Thank Got you, Noel. Well, TV.